Alright guys, how's it going? Hope you had a nice weekend. So today I'm going to quickly recreate this abstract art thing. I don't have a name for it. <laughs> and it's very easy to do, to be honest, and it's very easy in terms of the nodes. So what we'll do here is we'll select the default cube and I'll add in a quick subdivision modifier. Now this is just really to make it a nice kind of circular object and I'm going to spank the level and the render up to 5. Now I'm using Blender 2.91 so there's slight variations in terms of the modifiers and things like that and they actually get rid of the apply button which I think is silly now I'm fully aware it's up here so I can apply it or what I can do is I can press ctrl and A but I just liked having that apply button but anyway sidetracked so we now have our object I'm going to right click and I'm going to enable shade smoothing on it so I'll jump into the shading tab now I already have a material applied you can hit new and we only really need two nodes for this and this is how simple it is. So the first thing we really need is a wave texture. So I'll press shift and A and I'll press S to search and I'll search for a wave texture. And the next node that I need to drop down is a colour ramp node. So I'll press Control A, I'll press S to search and I'll drop down a colour ramp. Now obviously the colour goes into the factor and the colour goes into the base colour. And we'll get this really nice effect to begin with. But one thing you might notice that's a little bit blurry, there's no defined lines. So we can actually change the colour ramp from linear to constant. Now don't worry, it might go black, but what I can do here is I can push the white up a little bit. And you'll notice that I'm getting much more defined lines. Now while I'm in the colour ramp, I'm going to add in another colour to the mix. So I'll hit the plus icon here. Hopefully that should put it in the middle. Perfecto. And we'll just add in another random colour. So we'll just pick red. So it's not that random. But anyway. Now we can play around with the position of these. And we can start squeezing the values. But that should be fine for the moment. We'll take a look at the wave texture node now. Now I'm actually going to change bands to rings. And this will give me this kind of nice ringed effect. Kind of like wood. And I'm going to change the sine function to a saw function. Now you probably won't see anything happen here. But it kind of does change things here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add in a little bit of distortion, so you can see here when I push the distortion up, I get this kind of nice island effect, that's pretty cool to be honest. Now the scale is a little bit large, so if I reduce the scale down, and I'll put it pretty low, we end up with something like that, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now I might push the white colour up just a little bit. So we can play around with some of the settings, like the detail, if we push this right up, you can get this camel effect, especially when you do the scale. So that's a nice effect, but I'm going to quickly undo that because that's not what I'm after. And obviously you have a kind of phase on and off. Now in order to create the abstract shape, I just used a simple displace modifier. Now we could do this in nodes, but it's a Monday. I'm being lazy, I've got a sore throat, I drank too many beers last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the object, I'll jump back into layout, and I'll add in a displacement modifier. Let's see what it looks like here. I'll apply a new material, I'll then come to the show textures and all I'll do here is I'll change the type and I'll change it to maybe something like a marble. Now that's pretty cool to begin with. The size is a little bit low so I might put the size up a bit. Yeah that's looking good. I'll come back to the modifier. So you don't necessarily need to apply these modifiers. You could stack them on top of each other and it means it gives you a little bit more Fidelity, you could start moving values, you could even start animating. But I'm just going to apply the modifiers here, so I'll press Ctrl and A. The next thing I'm going to do is just add another subdivision surface over the top, because I want to kind of fix this pinching, so I'll put this to maybe 3 and 3. And the mesh is getting pretty heavy at this point, but I'm only rendering one object, so I'm not that bothered. I'll press, I'll press Ctrl and A to apply this modifier. And then I'll just add in another displacement modifier. Now there is no right or wrong here. You're more than welcome to play around with these settings. I'll go for a stooky. And I'll actually put the size up a little bit. And I'll put the turbulence probably down. And we end up with something like this. <laughs> and when I apply the modifier, you'll notice that the texture kind of corrects itself. And that's pretty much how you create a kind of abstract effect. Do me a favour guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me Twitter. Support me. Thought it was killing me, you know what to do. Take care.